I must walk this lonesome journey. I must walk, get by myself. Nobody else can walk it for me. I must walk it by myself. I must walk this lonesome journey. I must walk, get by myself. Nobody else can walk it for me. I must walk it by myself. Hallelujah. A pleasant good day to you guys. I pray that all is well. Today's devotion is run your race. Comparison will eat your lunch. Heavenly Father, another time in your presence to give you all glory, honor, and praise for your redeeming grace. Thank you, dear Lord God, for another opportunity, a privilege to address your people, dear Lord. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, in no other name, but Jesus' holy and matchless name. Amen. So, run is to move at a speed faster than a walk. Never having both feet or all feet on the ground at the same time. Race, a competition between runners, horses, vehicles, boats, etc. To see which is the fastest in covering a set course. Comparison, a consideration or estimate of the similarities or dissimilarities between two things or people. The quality of being similar or equivalent. Eat, put food into the mouth and chew and swallow it. Lunch, a meal eaten in the middle of the day, typically one that is lighter or less formal than an evening meal, right? So remembering our theme, run your race, comparison will eat your lunch. You know, we are all on this journey called life. And we all are called to do various things, right? There's the body and the body has one head, two eyes, two ears, one nose, two nostrils, one mouth, one tongue, many teeth, two arms, two legs, two feet. And you get where I'm going with this, right? So each part of the body plays a particular role right? If one part of the body is not doing what it's supposed to be doing, then it may affect the other part of the body. Are you following? Run your race, comparison will eat your lunch. I want to use a scripture, Philippians chapter 3 verse 14. I press on toward the mark. His eye is upon the gold and he presses toward every difficulty to reach it. For the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, this is the prize offered to those in the high calling of the saints in Christ, right? So in reading this scripture to you guys, I want to know, I want you to know that there is a goal, there is a prize at the end of this race that we are running, right? However, if you do not run focused, you will miss out on your prize. If you decide to peep a fence, to look over at another brother and sister and compare yourself, oh, I wonder how come this person is receiving this and why this person is receiving that or um, this one get flowers or this one get, you understand what I'm saying? You're comparing yourself to the person. You're looking at all the person's works that you can physically see, but you don't know what they do in the background, right? There's a song that I, I like. It's written by Mary Mary. I cannot remember the title right now, but pretty much it's the song that you see. The song is saying is that you see me outside doing whatever you see me, but you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. You don't know when I go into my corner and I cover myself and I go down into prayer and, you know, in repentance and, and giving God praise, glory, honor, and, and supplication and intercession, right? But you could only see the glory of the person and the benefits and the rewards in which they're reaping because of what they're doing in secret. Run your race. 
Run your race. If you know that you are supposed to be turning down your plate and fasting, turn down your plate and fast. Run your race. If you know that you're supposed to be up at a specific hour of the morning, you're supposed to be praying and talking to God, reading your Bible, run your race. If God is telling you to pick up the phone and to call someone, run your race. Do what it is that you have to do. Be steadfast. Take heed that what message you are given or what is laid upon your heart that you do not do sad will be your portion. It's not up to man. It's not up to the pastor. It's not up to your brothers or sisters. It is all about you. God speaks to you. You hear him. If you do not acknowledge that it is him speaking to you, then I would, I would um, tell you to speak to God. Ask him to give you a sign. Ask him to give you a way of knowing that is him speaking to you and that you yourself is not speaking to yourself or you're hearing things, right? Because some people just don't know when it's the spirit of the Lord speaking to them. Some people just don't understand what it means to have confirmation, right? You think something or you ask God something in prayer and you, you, you receive an answer, but you don't know it's an answer. And then when you hear somebody else saying something about it, then it's like, oh my goodness, you know, I asked for this and I didn't get this. It's not that you didn't get it. You didn't recognize that you got it because you're too busy comparing yourself. And guess what? They eat your lunch. Run your race. Comparison will eat your lunch. Stay in your lane. Know who you are. Search yourself. Ask God to reveal the things that needs to be revealed to you. Ask him to give you a spirit of discernment. Ask him to give you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Ask him to anoint your eyes that you can see the things that he wants you to see. Your ears to hear the things that he wants you to hear. Your mouth to say the things that he wants you to say, right? Ask him to be renewed, right? By the transforming of your mind. Ask him to give you a heart. Remove the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Ask him that when you speak, it will be effective. And if it's to affect someone, that it would affect them in the way that he wants them to be affected because that'll be his Holy Spirit working in events, right? So continue to run your race. But in running your race, remember to stay in your lane, stay in your own fence, self-assess yourself to be a better you, right? Not to be like somebody else. Comparison will eat your lunch. It's not, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you, you comparing yourself to someone else, you will fail, right? So I have this thing that I tell my children and quite honestly, this morning, I said to my sons, as we were getting ready this morning, I said, you guys are leaders, but in order to lead, you have to know to follow a right, right? So you have to follow proper leadership in order to be taught to lead, right? So in order to follow proper leadership, you have to stay in a prayer and ground. You have to let yourself, submit yourself to God to use you. Humble yourself in order to serve, in order to learn, in order to move forward, right? So run your race. Comparison will eat your lunch, right? Not everyone is called to lead. Some are called to follow and trust and believe. Believe leaders do serve. And who do leaders serve? They serve us. How do they serve us? They serve us by giving us that word of God because they are servants of God as well right? And if they were not servants of God, then they would not be able to hear from God to give us the message in which he wants us to know. Do not discredit yourself. Do not think of yourself lower than anyone else. Do not compare yourself. I'm not saying that you cannot ask questions to man, you know, your fellow brothers or your fellow sisters or your leaders. I'm not saying that you cannot do that. You can ask questions because that's the only way you're going to learn stuff, right? I often say that the dumbest questions is the ones not asked because in order to know something, you have to ask something. It doesn't matter if you're being redundant about it or not. As, as long as you've been answered and as long as it takes root and it sticks, then you'll be comfortable in order to move along, right? So my brothers and sisters in Christ, run your race comparison will eat your lunch. Don't make somebody else belly get full off of what it is that you're sowing. I love you with the love of Christ. If you have not done so already, please do like, share, and subscribe 
to our morning devotions, House of Esther Divine Ministries. Stay blessed, stay safe, stay productive, and know that Jesus loves you and his death was not in vain.